What's up guys, it's your boy Ru and we are back for another Trails of Costio video and we are continuing right from where we left off. So in the previous one, we started our preparations for the Academy Festival. We started, they already started practicing a lot. They figured out what they're doing. So they used this and Makis are doing a duet. Emma's the soul singer, the lead singer by herself. And then everybody else is basically just support instruments and stuff like that. We went on our little uh, adventure, you can say, with Emma to get our uniforms and we ran into Misty slash Vita Clotilde and we got a little special interaction over there and now they're in the middle of practicing for the Academy Festival day and night 24-7 Elliot, the military man that he has from his military background from Olaf Craig himself is uh, beating them down through music and as Crow as well because Crow has no chill when it comes to the festival he needs everything to be spot on so that's the current situation so we're back for another Academy Festival video and uh, we're just going to be chilling and hanging out and have another good time here. So we're definitely going to be coming to this one with Baby Girl for sure. Absolutely. This one and then the... Uh, so this festival here, the one we just saw, this one I'm doing with Crow. The Blade one, definitely doing without with Crow. I can't go with anybody else. Are you kidding me? But then the, the one with the Night Light Sky, I'm going to do with Alisa. And then this one right here with the Sweets and the Fortune. I think I'm going to do it with Sarah. I'm going to do it with Sarah. And then, uh, I'm not sure about the other ones, what I want to do. I'm thinking for this one, I actually might take Milliam here, because Milliam matches this event perfectly. Like, this little, um, this display sort of like, I guess, uh, fest stall. That stall right there is perfect for Milliam. So I'm definitely going to take her there. For everybody else, I'm not going to be doing any of the guys, obviously. Like, who wants to see that? Like, I don't think any of y'all want to see me go through the bonding events of the, uh... So I don't think any of you guys want to see me go through the bonding events with, um, the Class 7 guys. So I'm only going to be doing with the girls, right? Because, uh, I think that's what everyone wants to see. Because otherwise we'd be going through, like, 20-plus events and, uh, that'll take forever. Oi, oi. Nani o neboketen da? Stage niwa surprise to ankoolu ga tsukimono. やっと他のクラスに勝てそうなダメ押しが狙えるんじゃねえか。え?ドレ、ドレドライバー、ライヘア。サプライズとアンコール。何それ?What <笑> is that? <laughs> Can we quickly turn this around? Pan over to Crow's face because he is deadly serious right here. He is deadly serious. Come on, come on, come on, come on, please. Yeah. <laughs> jing Jing, you can be. He can be Tots? I don't know. Like, what is this translation right here? I don't understand this. He can be taught. That doesn't make any sense. Jing Jing, that's exactly what we're doing. Don't worry your pretty little heads though. As soon as you hear what I've got in mind, you'll all be in on this. I've got a nice simple tune in mind that everyone's heard and most probably even know the lyrics. <laughs> I love the close-ups. Anyway, we haven't got much time to prep. So how about we get right down to business? Alright? <laughs> so in, in the English... In the English, Alisa just called uh, Crow what I wanted. I wanted to call him. But in English, uh, Alisa called him what I, wa I was trying to call him earlier. And then in the Japanese, she called him a demon, right? A devil, Akma. Uh, this, this. Will y'all look at that, folks? Will you look at this? Isn't that misty? <gasps> Wait, is this what I think it is? 
I'm not actually like being sarcastic or being like trying to be ironic or any of that. Like I actually, I'm actually not certain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've officially issued a declaration of independence. This declaration was issued by the state government based on a recent referendum and carries no legal authority whatsoever. The imperial government has issued an official statement that they refuse to accept the declaration as being valid. I believe the state government, the state government that she was talking about that uh, issued the declaration, I believe is Dieter Croy. I haven't played the Azure games, but I do think that is what the case is. Oh, by the way, eventually at some point, I may, be, I may get the Japanese games for those, for the Charles of Azure, the remakes, the Kai versions. And if I do, I'll, I'll be playing those on the channel for sure. But, uh... You know what I find very interesting is that earlier, Principal Van Dyke was talking about an ominous wind, how he has a bad feeling coming from the east. And when you look at this, Crossbell is declaring their independence. And the president of the Calvary Republic, President Rocksmith, also claims authority over the states. And he has made a similar statement as the imperial as the Empire of Erbonia. Here we go, y'all. Problems. International problems. In spite of this, Crossbell's Mayor Croy, yeah, I was right, this is Deidre Croy, has declared that the country will act as an independent state going forward. Oh. As well as announced the establishment of the Crossbow Defense Force, raising tensions both at home and abroad. So anyone that's played those games, isn't that the uh, the CDF, the Crossbow Defense Force? Isn't that what Randy ends up joining? I believe Randy Orlando. Isn't that what he did? Isn't at some point in his life? I think I remember that for Coastal 3. Yeah, so there we go, y'all. There we go. As soon as we get rid of the Imperial Liberation Front, well, not we, but they got they got um gunned down by that that mystery rifle. Now we've got official declaration of independence over in Crossbell by D. Croy. He's up to no good, obviously. And there we have it. There we have it. Final chapter. The finale. Put to the test. Let's get it. Let's go. If this, if this no item run was ever in jeopardy, it's now. It's now. It is in this chapter by far. Are you kidding me? So this is really this is really where the no item run starts. Actually, if I'm being perfectly honest here, because me getting through everything we've gotten to this point almost is meaningless. It's almost meaningless if I can't if I can't defeat the that one right that one. That's how I'm gonna I'm, that's how I'm gonna address them right now for right now because we had, we're not aware of any of that lore yet. All right. All right. So we have now got our special tickets. So let's let's go ahead. Go ahead and have a grand old time today, y'all. Let's do this. We got. Wait, that's it. Wait, what? Only six? I thought I was supposed to get like a bunch. I swear. Was I not? Is it because I reset my items? So technically the these tickets count as items. So because I reset that to like zero, it only gave me six. Because I thought it was supposed to give me like 14 or something. I guess we only got six today. All right yes. then. Oh, by the way, y'all. So in the videos, I've been saying that we're going to do it Friday. I actually changed my mind because all of these videos are going to be up by tomorrow. 
So we're actually going to do the stream Wednesday. We're going to stream it Wednesday for uh the whole the schoolhouse stuff. So sorry about that. It's going to be a little bit sooner. I'll have it. I'll have it up tomorrow morning, or tonight rather. Gate of Avalon. Yeah, this is casino music right here for sure. Where's he at? Let's get it, Crow. Who's the king of games? Who is the king of games? Who's Yugi and who's Kaiba? Let's figure it out. Let's find out who the so called Blade Master is, shall we? Let's get it. Let's go. As long as you don't bet on them. Green, dude, it's chill, man. Let him bet. He's going to lose anyways. He already owes us 50 Mira. Let's put him more in debt. I'm about to show you how's good. I'm the Blade Master. Let's go. <laughs> Deal. Part of the cards are on my side. Part of the cards are on my side. Did y'all witness that uh, Browning event earlier? I totally destroyed him. Let's get it. Alright, come on. Give me a top deck. Give me a top deck. Right here. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm actually gonna go two. Uh, I gotta save these. So let's go three right here. Let's go three. Keep going three. Four. Let's go down the line. Is that how you wanna play? Do I want to use my double four or do I want so because I now have the top deck draw. He has how many cards he has? He has five cards. I've got I've got six cards. But these two, if you leave if you end up with these two, you actually lose. So ooh. I'm gonna go five. I'm gonna go five. Then I'm gonna go four. Heart of the cards? Heart of the cards. Top deck. Right here. Oh my god, mirror. Do not, do not. Of course he had a bolt, man. Of course he had a bolt. I lost. I lost. Yep, it's over. It's over. It's over with. Dang it, man. Dang it, bro. I don't think there's a way for me to win that. I didn't get the draws. I didn't get the draws in that one. Heart of the cards wasn't on my side. I'm not the, I'm not the king of games. I'm not, I'm not uh, Yami Yugi. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry to intrude on your fun. Who is this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. The goat maid. What is she doing here? What is Sharon doing here? What do you want? So far, so good, huh? Been racking up the wins? That's right. She is the designated blade master. I forgot. I thought it was... That's right. Your dormitory is watchful and loving caretaker, but for the duration of this festival at Master Crow's behest, I am the Blade Master. What does Sharon do? What does she doesn't do? What does she not do? Sharon, what do you not do? Like, are you this good at everything? Like, are you serious? Joel Dunn? Oh, we're facing off against her. Oh, we're going to, we're going to get wrecked. Oh, we're done. It's over with. So why am I challenging her again? You're the one who appointed her. You play her. You're the one who beat me. <laughs> Are you prepared, Rin Sama? Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice, so I guess so. Let's get it going. Let's get it started. Let's duel. Alright, alright, alright. Am I going to go 0 for 2? Am I going to go 0 for 2 here? What is my hand looking like? Yo, my hand is garbage. My hand is garbage. I have three fives. Why do I have three fives? Alright, top check in 3, 2, 1, draw. We're screwed. 3, get that out of my hand. I'm actually going to go 5 here. Yeah, that's why I went five. That's why I went five. To burn her, to burn her thing. Let's see if we can burn another one. Yeah, you burn another one. Let's go four. Dude, how many bolt lightnings does she have? What the heck is going on here? What is she doing? Mirror. Dude, how does she have four bolts? How is that fair? How does she have four bolts?
I lost. Dude, she had four bolts. What is that? What is that trash? How did she get that nutty of a starting hand? How did she get that nutty? You have you have any idea how much board control that is? Especially I had triple fives. It's not like I had like uh, six sevens and like OP cards. Like that was trash, man. That was garbage. I I call a redo. I need a rerun. I didn't shove up my deck properly. Someone sabotaged me. No, I was sabotaged. That's ridiculous. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to embody Reen. Today's all of this entire part today is supposed to be me embodying Reen. There really are a lot of people at this academy who rely on you, you know. <laughs> you still owe me money, bro. I'm not paying you back until you pay back my interest, all right? And if you want if you want to go, I'll double or nothing. Let's double or nothing. Let's get it. Let's run it back. Let's run it back. I'm not scared. They make a wonderful combi. They make a very wonderful combi. Catch you later, bro. Take it easy. All right, that's one down. All right, next we've got Mishi Panic. Cause you know, we have cross spells declaration of independence. Because of Deer Chakroy and Mishi is Crossbell's mascot, so I figured why not we take a visit over here, over at the stall. And uh, I think I'm gonna invite Milliam, because this sounds like a perfect event for her to be joining us on. Where's Milliam at? Let's, let's ask Milliam. Maybe I'll take President Toa on one of these? I'm not even sure if I ever did, but honestly. Alright, let's do it. So I just smack away. Let's give it to Million. What? I don't get to control her. It's definitely an odd choice given the circumstances. But uh, you like mystery, don't you? Then the prize is yours if I win. All right, let's do this, y'all. It's time to get smashing. It's time to start smashing. Hulk smash. Let's go. Come on, come on. Where you at? Where you at? Oh my goodness. I have no idea if it's gonna be a little bit faster than like on the PS4. Oh my goodness. Run. Reen, run, run, run. Come on. Uh, no, 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 no. I missed one. Dude, dude, what are you where are you aiming? Where are you aiming? Come on. Right here. Turn around. 360 no scope. 360 no scope. Oh my goodness. You're done. You're done. Run, Rain. Run. Run. You got two legs. Use them. Come on. Come on. High score. Yeah. Give me that high score. I'm the king of arcade games. I am the king of arcade games. 250. Comment down below your highest scores. Because uh, 250 is definitely not that. I don't think 250 is that amazing. But we beat the score and we got the Mishi Plus. So we got Million her gift, which is actually very fitting for her. I'm quite glad that I brought her with us. Because, you know, she's an intelligence division agency. Spy. So she's probably done a lot of traveling, so perhaps she's seen Crossbell, so she might really like this Mishi as a, as a little gift. This is yours, Milliam. Here you go. Well, I'm glad you like him. <laughs> I wanted to see her change um, Lammy into a, the uh, hammer and have her go at it. That's what I wish would have happened. That would have been so dope. That would be cheating. It'd be awesome cheating. <laughs> that was a, that was a nice little one right there. Nothing too crazy. Wait, hold up. We've got Machius, Eustace, and Milliam all hanging out. They bought her a bunch of food. Too bad Gramps and Lecter are missing out on the fun. I wonder where they are. Oh, what is Sarah doing here with uh, Crow and Toa? Oh, making rounds. The real refreshment is this beer I'm smuggling with me. <laughs> Girl, you dummy, get out of my chair. There are places you need to go. Give it a rest. Leave me alone.
I remember visiting the Eastern Quarter in Calvert, which, by the way, is going to be in Colonel Kiseki because we saw the environment in screenshots. So uh, that's going to be interesting. You've been to Calvert? Yo, can Sarah be in Colonel Kiseki as well? Yo, Reen and Sarah both need to be in Colonel Kiseki. What are we talking about here? Imagine using Sarah in, in action combat. It's not specific to this um, bonding event right here, but that just came to my mind as soon as she mentioned the Eastern Quarter. This is an academy festival. Could you imagine half the student body getting as sloshed as you? It'd be a madhouse. Come to think of it, do alcohol and sweets even taste good together? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. If you haven't tried it and you're of age, definitely try it. I don't like I don't like those. I don't like the sweets that have alcohol in it. It just that that's those are weird. I prefer having my my drink and then the sweet. Especially if it's like a, a steamed bun, like a uh, a, a red bean filled a uh, steamed bun or like a, a mochi. Oh, so good. So good with the nice like asahi cold beer. Oh my goodness. Oh. I forgot to I forgot to say his lines. Dang it, man. Why am I not surprised you even have one? All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what our fortune is looking like with Sarah. Ah, oh, they're doing it the Eastern way, huh? Okay, let's each take one then. Which type of fortune should I draw? Relationship. This one definitely, because again, Alisa is for me specifically. Alisa is my one, but Sarah's like one B. Like I have a hard time choosing between the two, but it's just like destiny pulls me towards Alisa because of the pain that we go through. Right, with more pain comes more love. It becomes the, your the, your relationship bond becomes stronger. You feel me? Because if, it, if it's just all happiness, like where where are you gonna go? Like, I, I don't see the progression of that. It's just my personal opinion. Um, and by far, am I no means a relationship expert? Okay, I'm the least from that. I'm the exact opposite. Okay, but that's just my opinion. Oh, relationships, is it? Is your heart alright with an unquenchable lust that meek schoolgirls just can't satisfy? Uh, I'm just curious what I'll get. Alright then, that, that, that makes two of us. Come on, come on, show me. Sarah brings all the classic middle-aged dandies to the yard. No, he does. No, 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 no. That's not what's happening here. Nah, I don't think so, Sarah. You're not going to get any middle-aged men because uh, there's a certain somebody that's sitting next to you that's going to become a dashing young man in the near future here. And you're going to be head over heels for, you're gonna be head over heels for this guy. All right? Mr. Harm King. Okay? Let's see what we got over here. Let's see. Who's the mi future Mrs. Schwartzer? You're drawn to those with an adult allure and charm. Strive to improve yourself, that you are a fitting partner for them. Okay, let's see what I got. Let's see what you got, Sarah. You are surprisingly compatible with those of the opposite... Those who are opposite of your usual type, you don't say. Sometimes it is best to broaden one's horizons. There you go. Oh, looks like you got a pretty interesting result. I think so as well. An adult alert, huh? Why, Reen? I never knew that you had such deep desires for me, for such higher education. I'm touched, really. But alas, debonair? Debonair? Middle-aged men are more my type, I think that's what that word is. Though I suppose young guys like you have your own sort of appeal. Who knows, maybe we'd make some sparks after all. Yo, Sarah? You can't say this to me in public, I'll blush. I'll blush. I'll get embarrassed. An adult alert charm? You? Dude, Reed, don't be disrespectful. Hey, you can at least try to mask your skepticism. Honestly, do you have any eyes in your head? Do you have a brain? Any man would be would jump at the chance to be with such a great A woman. And she's a rank A rank baser, by the way. <laughs> when you dish out the heat as much as you do, you've got to take it sometimes. It seems like just the other day, we were talking about how attractive she is. At least, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. It seems like just the other day, we were talking about how attractive she is. At least until she opens her mouth. What is he talking about here? When did we talk about this? I don't remember this. 
Honestly, I'm surprised she's still single. I wonder why. What's the matter? Cock out your tongue? Or you're hoping I would? <laughs> Boom! The Sarah Heartbreaker strikes again, leaving fresh tears in her wake. Don't worry. It's gonna it's gonna change up real soon. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Wait, why do you look like you just had some sort of revelation? No, it's gonna change. Their dynamic will change. No worries, guys. It's all fine and dandy here. You know what I'm saying? Sarah will come around. She'll realize the wrong wrong ways that she's um that she should no longer be chasing middle-aged men, right? That she should be going for someone that's younger than her. A certain stud, a certain Chad, alright? Most teachers wouldn't be ashamed of that. Okay! Alright! We have got the final, the final festival activity stall. So let's do this thing. And as you know, we're about to go underneath these nice and beautiful stars with the baby girl right here. So let's get it. Part of me wants to turn up on lights so I can like fit the mood, but uh, that'll, dis that'll destroy the point of there being a face cam. Isn't this reminiscent of our night in Nord? Yeah, Stella Garten. So I guess it's just supposed to be called Garten. It's such an audacious name, but this attraction earns every letter of it. I suppose I shouldn't have expected anything less from Class 2, though. Why don't you say we go ahead and do that? Alright, let's, uh, enjoy this little... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, dang, I should have changed the outfit. Oh, well. Okay, here it goes. Yeah, this is more stunning than I ever would have expected it to be. Just like our night in Nord, isn't it? You're right, the sky night, that was incredible. And the company as well, it was just the two of us. Still, at least there's nobody to interrupt us today. It's just you and me, alone. I like getting the chance to hear all about your family, though. Getting to know you better. I can see why that's so precious to you. There's a lot of memories she wants to make with her classmates and with me. Oh, Lisa. Alisa. No, I'm reading into it that you meant those words. Don't take it back. Don't take it back. Don't play with my emotions. I can't handle that, okay? I'm a very simple guy, all right? I can't handle the games. I know. Our class has been through a lot, but both good and bad. But every memory we've made together is precious to me. And as long as our class sticks together, as long as we stick together, I'm sure our collection of memories will grow even bigger. That was the gist of what you were going to say, right? I still love that moment, man. I still love that. I, I did add those little extra lines there, but it was fitting, you know what I'm saying? It, it fit. I, I was um, embodying Futurine right there. His future mentality. 
Because right now he's he's still playing. He's still playing. Um, he's still trying to act like he's dense, which he is. That that won't change anytime soon. Toki nakita, Toki nakita, the time has come. Are? I swear I could hear someone calling me just now. Must have been my imagination. Reen, baby, here's my number. Call me anytime, day or night. <laughs> Dude, why are you getting jealous? I, I literally went to the garden with you. Alisa, baby girl, I went to the garden with you just like five minutes ago. There's no reason for you to be jealous. I know, I know I have a harem and everything with a bunch of beautiful women in it. But uh, you're my only my number one, right? You're my Rias Gremory. Hopefully someone out there right now knows that reference. Because I don't think a lot of people watch High School DD. Which, by the way, if you're an anime fan watch and you haven't watched High School DD, you may want to check that out. Because it's actually kind of dope. What's with this eerie sounding howls? Owls? Oh, we're going to the clock and the bell. What's about to happen? The time has come. The conditions have been met. The clock is moving. The clock is moving, y'all. The clock is moving. If y'all aren't aware, anytime a clock that's never started moving starts to move, it's not a good idea. Oh, old schoolhouse is glowing. Isn't this reminiscent of the Lohengrin Castle? Isn't this reminiscent of the Lohengrin Castle right here? When that oh, and now we got the birdie. We have got the Azure Bird. What is this thing doing over here? What are you doing over here, Grianos? Are you just came did you come here to enjoy the, the music? Because you're a bird and birds love to chirp. Right? Birds love to chirp. That's their form of music. Did you come to watch our show as well? Or did you want to just stare at this building all day? Kind of like how Celine likes to do. But anyways, y'all. That's the end for today's video. It's all just going to be the, the, the festivities, you'd say. The uh, bonding, uh, uh, bonding events. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It's a little bit different from the usual videos I create for this for this play. Because mostly we're, we're focused on the overall story as well as the gameplay. Like the no item aspect to it. But hopefully you guys liked that. I tried to make it a little bit more fun and interesting for y'all. But, uh... So I am going to be doing it Wednesday because I do think it'll be a better day for me, just because it would be more relevant, right? I'll be I'll be more fresh with my gameplay as far as waiting till Friday and taking such a long break, and also because doing it Wednesday would that allow me to do, assuming we get through that, is it will allow me to finish the game by this weekend so we can go ahead and start Cold Steel 2's run, and also what it also allows for is in case I fail and I can't complete it in uh, Wednesday's stream, like I can't get through that. Uh, final dungeon i'm essentially going to redo everything i'm gonna catch up to that point and then i'm gonna try it again except when in that new game version of it i'm gonna keep my courses i'm gonna keep my courses i'm gonna keep my equips everything else all the other no item aspects all the other healing all that stuff i'm gonna follow obviously all that's gonna be off screen because i don't think you guys really i don't think you guys will care to see that but i, I will keep it like legit like legitimate like i'm not going to i'm not going to cheat and start using items even though i'm doing it off screen i am going to not use items but the only change is going to be is I'm going to carry over my quartz. That's only assuming I can't get through the final dungeon, which we're going to try again Wednesday. I think Wednesday probably start at 4.30. 4.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, I'm going to start. And I'm just going to keep going until we get out of there. Actually, no, I'm going to start at 5.30. That would just 5.30, like mid-afternoon-ish, towards the nighttime. Probably will probably be like a four or five hour stream. I'm going to just constantly go. At bare minimum, I want to work my way through the old school house potentially take on the boss boss but at the very least work our way through the dungeon so anyways y'all that's the end of this video hope hopefully you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys do i try to show a little bit more like because when i played alone i really get into those these bonding events a lot like before before i did it on screen and so something you guys may not know about me is that uh I'm not necessarily. I'm not an um, upfront emotional guy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm. I like. I like have a shell around it. It only comes out when I'm like alone. So I do want to. I want to keep things like what's it called. I want to keep things. What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? 
translucent, transparent. I want to keep things transparent for y'all. So anytime where I would usually get emotional or I'm, I'm going, that's why sometimes you'll see me like I start getting a little bit heated red or I stop talking sometimes or I start, I get a little bit of feely feely. In the, I get a little bit in the feels during this during season. I try to keep that on here just so you guys can see like how I'm generally playing and feeling about this game. And I'm not hiding anything from you guys. But yeah, overall, that's that's pretty much it. That's all I got to say. Wednesday, 5.30 Pacific Daylight Time. We are going to be streaming that. And I hope you guys look forward to that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are enjoying all the content in the channel. And as soon as we get more Chrono Kiseki news, I will be all over that. Like white on rice. But anyways, before I continue on my tangents... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great, great, great day. And I will see you all next time. Peace.